Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Denethia with another StarCraft 2 beta commentary. Yay! Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that um, I'm very happy with the 3v3s and 4v4s. Um, the, the actual ability to be able to play them, because I think they're actually really fun. Um, there are a few problems with them, and I'll discuss them hopefully later, if I actually recall my thoughts at that time. But uh, in the meantime, let's talk about this particular game. Um, as you can see, it's a 3v3, uh, 3v3 on the only um, 3v3 map that there currently is from Blizzard. We have a uh, Terran and a Terran here, Tommy, and this is PV something 10 sign? I don't know. Whatever his name is. And then we got this guy, Bojangles. Bojangles! I think I've actually played this guy before. His name sounds very familiar. Anyway, he is. Um, he lifted off his command center as soon as the game started, moved all his SCVs down here to collect minerals, which is a good thing to do, because now they all actually had a load of minerals to dump straight away. Um, and, and yeah, then he's going to just keep on hacking away at these gold minerals. And it also means that he's very close, and you can see they've obviously um, thought about this, or possibly just... Like, they could have all been random, they could have been in a group, whoever cares, but they have now set up a proxy barracks each, and, and this guy here will have um, a proxy barracks soon, as soon as he gets some cash in the bank. Um, as far as proxies go, this is actually a relatively good position, because you'll find a lot of people don't check down here, and it's just out of the sight range of somebody coming up to check for proxies in here, which is the usual case to have them. Um... I haven't really seen proxies anywhere else. I mean, they're normally um, in the back of the base, like you'll see, let's say, a, a pylon go up here, let's say, possibly here um, on the other side of the map. It's normally right in this little corner here. <clears throat> I've seen very few people actually try and proxy up onto these high ridges. I'm not sure why. You could even proxy all the way to the back here, and they would never even know you're coming. Um, until it's too late, so you could build up an entire army and just walk it behind their defences. Uh, now looking at my team at the moment, we can see that this drone from Iron Dog went to set up a hatchery here, you saw before when I was talking about that, he was trying to set up a, an expansion. He has now discovered um, <laughs> the proxy barracks and, and you can see there's tech lab, so they're trying to get out some reapers. Generally not so good for us. Um, I am the teal uh, Terran, as was discussed in my slightly shorter last video, um, saw those Reapers and decided to get some Marines into the back of Iron Dog's base, just in case they were trying to do some harass. I know two Marines won't do much, but I'll have a few more later. Going to our other ally is Prodigy AODMG. Huh. Prodigy Area of Effect Damage. I imagine that's what that's trying to stand for. He is doing uh, the general good stuff here. He's walled off his his entrance, which is actually kind of easy um, on this map, you can actually, if you position it well, if you put this um, uh, what is it, supply depot over here, you can actually just use four supply depots, or possibly if you want two supply depots, um, sorry, three and um, and a barracks. I'd normally do that, just because it uh, leaves your marines to actually shoot further away, which is kind of nice. <coughs> um, yeah, you can see this, or I hope you can see, Iron Dog's saying to me to shoot with my marines, and I'm thinking, well, yeah, that's generally what they're designed for. And then I eventually got what he was talking about, and I'm moving up to here to see if I can try and uh, attack from the ridge. Going back to the opposite team now, they've set up a bunker, jumping a few guys in, which is a very good move for defense, because um, Zerg may have... I just massed up Zerglings and rushed them in, which are not good against the Reapers, but they may have uh, done quite a bit of damage. But this bunker will sort that out, no worries at all. And you can see here that um, a purple player is now chucking up a whole bunch more barracks. Um, this is a bad idea. He, um, I do this too from time to time. It's still a bad idea, even though I do it. He queued up two barracks. If you've got the money to build two barracks, build two barracks right now. Don't queue one and then build the other. It's just a waste of your time and, and technically it's a waste of your minerals. Because um, you could be, well, you could be building them and you get marines out faster. We can also see that Bojangles, I like that name, Bojangles, yeah, 
has created a, a second base. Um, everybody else is working off one base at the moment. We can see these proxies are still working rather well. And coming over here to where the action is, we've got some Reapers running into the back of um, Blue's base here, trying to take out a whole bunch of stuff. But I saw this uh, luckily and moved in a whole bunch of my Marines to try and push them away. Those Reapers actually could do a bunch of damage to my Marines, probably take out maybe half of those if you played it well. Um, but he's run away, realizing that um, there's not much point to stay around. Although he's now come down here in a, a very smart move, taking out all the spike clothes, which means Blue will then not be able to build much more units. Um, we've got Zerg again running across the map here, trying to do some damage, and that might actually work because at the moment all their units are here because they're focused entirely on their little play of uh, proxy barracks and their Reaper harass. Which can work, yeah. Wow, what the hell's going? See, look, this is 400 minerals are just just sitting there as like ghost buildings. Like, what the hell? Ugh, I do it too, so I can't really complain that much. But nonetheless, so Zerg has, has seen a very good idea here, and he's just run Zergling straight into the back of the base. And these, oh, this guy's just dead. <laughs> Nothing he can do. So he's lifted off his barracks there. And you can see more Zerglings coming through, and they're far too many for this little bunch of uh, Reapers. Although they can dance around and do quite a bit of damage, but at the end of the day, then they're not going to win the battle. And it looks like this base here is also going to die due to the massive amount of Zerglings coming through. Um, in response to this, we can see a whole bunch of Reapers in the back of the Zerg base. He's taking out the Queen, which is very nice. Sorry about that. And then starting to focus down the drones. And of course, Reapers are absolutely fantastic against buildings. Um, this isn't too many Reapers, it's maybe like 20 Reapers, not even. And just the hatch was just going down, not a worries. Um, I've moved in now with some Marines to try and push them back, and it happens quite well. Uh, if I look at. I can't remember the buttons. Oh, there we go, V. Um, I couldn't actually see. Uh, where he went, but I did notice the direction, so I've pulled back to my base, assuming he can go for my mirror line, but he actually hasn't. He's gone to somewhere else. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, right, he's moved over to here. And uh, we can also see Bojangles is massing up the Marines as well. He's got no upgrades at the moment because he doesn't have a tech lab. Um, so, But he's pumping out like six Marines at once. Uh, moving over to my base, which we haven't seen for a while, um, I've got my shield upgrade, uh, my Weapons upgrade done, my shield upgrade halfway done. I've also got my combat shield ready and I've just started to queue up my stim packs. I've also got um, three barracks with um, reactors so I can build six at once plus uh, one. This tech lab was mainly for the upgrades but also I like to pepper in some marauders. Uh, this blood and guts is a control group of marines. Quite a few actually, it was probably like 25 marines that I had sent to attack here and then I was going to bring my focus back and actually attack. He had moved out and just wiped him out before I even realized what the hell was happening. So that's no good at all, but my macro was relatively good at this point in time and I had already built up a nice sizable army plus. They have plus one damage and soon to have right now. Yes.